Well, for most, Christmas Day usually means spending time with the family, but there are some who are busy taking care of Toronto. Today, we checked in with some of the city's most essential services and the staff who don't get a break on Christmas Day. It's a quiet Wednesday afternoon at Union Station. On Christmas Day, the bustling commuter crowds have been replaced by out-of-towners. I would say the majority of people that we're speaking with today are people that don't use our system regularly. We're here to help the families that are getting to where they need to be to be able to be with their families. Sergeant Stephanie Logue has been on the clock since 5 a.m. and she's not the only one. Aside from transit operators and ticket takers, there are many others keeping the GTA moving. We have a lot of people uh, working behind the scenes here, like our maintenance workers. They're working almost 24 hours to keep our properties uh, in working order and safe. We have our dispatchers, um, our operations center. Uh, they're keeping the trains moving on time, making sure people are getting to where they need to go. Go trains and buses are running on a Sunday schedule this Christmas. But over at Fire Station 332, it's all hands on deck. This would be one of the busiest uh, fire halls in the country. Fire crews who work 24-hour shifts are used to eating on the job. But today, it's a special holiday brunch. What's it like being here on Christmas? It's like a family away from your real family. But even special meals don't always get to be enjoyed in peace. This place is so busy, the guys just seem to eat as fast as possible because they're worried that they're going to catch a ride. As if on cue, today's chef gets pulled away from kitchen duty. Then a second truck is called. There's situations where there's just one guy left in the entire hall and we have an entire steak dinner just sitting on the table and he's busy putting paper towel over everything. <laughs> Suddenly Christmas brunch has a few less attendees, but these pros say it's all part of the job. Over at the urgent care clinic in Etobicoke, there's little time for a lunch break. I would say it's overwhelmingly busy because um, I'm not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> Dr. Gurjeet Bajwa was called in to help last minute and he says this time of year is especially hectic for emergency health services. It's a sort of a double whammy. Uh, you get uh, a lack of doctors who work in the clinic and then an increase in the number of illnesses and so it's a very, very busy time for any clinic. Those who are called to duty on Christmas Day know when they're on the scene, it usually means someone else is having a not so great holiday. We're showing up when it's supposed to be a happy day and people are supposed to be having fun with their family. Uh, for there, it's probably not the best day. Um, but with that challenge comes a great opportunity to provide, you know, we always lead with, lead with compassion. Justin Turner says his family is used to him being away for Christmas, but like many in his field, it's all about putting others before himself. Sure, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what motivates me in this career anyways, is just understanding that with the challenges come opportunities to do something good, do something, you know, bigger than ourselves. So, yeah, I try and keep that in mind.